So I want to make sure that uh, we understand the um, the negotiation techniques. So let's say that you so you got you got a referral from the the photography guy, and yeah. you contact the listing agent that's getting ready to list that house. <clears throat> and let's say so. Walk us through one more time. Give us a hypothetical. So you call them up. You say, "Hey, what were you going to list the house for?" Walk us through one more time that negotiation technique and what you offer in order to get the offer accepted. Right. Well, it's early seeds planted. So keep in mind, these photographers know that they get paid if I close a deal, right? Any deal that I close, they're going to get paid. So those conversations usually are started with the listing agent before I even hear about the deal. So for hypothetical situation, uh, photographer gets a call to go out to 123 Front Street. He goes out. It's the listing agent, him and the seller, maybe just him and the listing agent. He starts snapping the pics and he says, so when are you going live on this thing? And they say Friday and it's Monday. He said Monday huh? or Friday, huh? Okay. What were you going to list for? And they were like, well, we're going to, we're going to probably go at 800,000. And, and then he's, I, I have them trained up to where they go. Okay. So if I could get you that 800,000 or real close, or maybe even more, I'm not sure where he'll come in exact. If I can get that to you and in your bank account by Friday, would your seller consider selling right now? To cash to for cash and they say yeah i think so and then he goes okay well let me put put you in contact with casey ames and um i'm pretty sure he's gonna want this house and they know they know what i'm looking for usually right uh and then then i then i either call that agent or most of the time they call me um once again it goes down to the name uh, our company has a pretty good name for ourselves so they know that we're going to handle our business and and cover it but so if i talk to the agent now and the guy hasn't said anything, the photographer hasn't said anything, then I just ask the questions, you know? So it, are you guys listing this thing in as is condition? Uh, no, we don't have to list it in as is condition. It's, it's, it's a nice home. Okay, perfect. What, what, uh, is it been fully renovated? Uh, well, they did a renovation back in 2018, but and it could use some updates. All right, what were you guys gonna go live at? Oh, we were gonna go live at 800, okay. Um, so let me, can I, can I call you back in like 30 minutes and I'll run some comps on it real quick. But if the numbers do come back and I can give you the eight or close to it, um, or even more, I got to check the comps. W would your seller be interested in just closing out cash? I'll make it, I'll make it easy. Um, five day close, no inspection, no appraisal. Uh, we'll just, we'll just wrap it up. We go through Cassie Johnson at pioneer title and, uh, you know, we can just get it done real quick. Yeah. My seller might be interested in that. And then the other one that I use a lot is big earnest money because I, I deal with a lot of private money and um, my, our money is pretty good. And so I'll, I'll say, and just, just to be clear so that your seller doesn't think he's wasting his time, like we'll throw 20,000 down on earnest just to, just to bet him. And it'll be released to the seller on acceptance of the offer. So then the seller's like, well, okay, I stand to make 20 grand if he backs out and I only have to wait a week for the rest of my money. And I'm not saying nine out of 10 times, but it works a lot.